Welcome back trainers and we have a treat. We're going to be taking a look at Nexel Lucario. It's going to be level 49 here. Not the best IVs, but it is going to be shiny and lucky. And there you go. There it is. I just powered it up because I don't even give a dang. Let's have a little fun. Somebody requested it in my last video in the comments section. So I said, you know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter if I put the best team together. I'll go 5-0-0-5. You already know what it is. So let's just go ahead and have a little fun here. I'm not even trying to rank up. Let's get it and see what we can do. Lucario farming down and going for the Shadow Ball. So you have uh, several different moves that could prove to be pretty good for you in the Open Master League here. It is a pretty interesting Pokemon being still and fighting. It's not going to have a high combat power. Even at level 50, 100% IV best buddy, it's going to be around 31 something. So yeah, uh, the... <laughs> It's still going to be able to do something because, well, it's got counter and it is going to be part steel. And you're, kind of, you're going to have a lot of other steel types, so you're going to be able to do something. We're going to be pairing it up with Dialga and Mewtwo for the entire video here. And we have Mewtwo equipped as best buddy, so it's going to be not quite 100. We've got 15, 15, 14, but essentially, basically, uh, still looking good here. And Mewtwo does put in the work. Same with Dialga. We're going to kind of have to almost rely on them a lot of the times because, well, Lucario just gets one shot it and taking a look at its other moves here we have flash cannon close combat and power of punch so you know close combat is going to be good flash cannon is going to get those fairies you're getting stabbed with that so it's going to do quite a bit of damage but i decided to go with shadow ball because well it, it, i just do <laughs> anyways let's see what we have going on here met with a garchomp this is a fine matchup here I, we're going to go ahead and shield i think even two times if necessary to win this matchup because that's what you're gonna have to do sometimes with this Lucario team, folks, I'm telling you. And if you're thinking you're weak to Fairy in the back, a Charm user, yeah, but we have Dialga, you know. We're not necessarily weak to Charm, but Lucario with its specific combat power in this league is gonna be taking a lot of damage from an XL Togekiss. So getting to another Psy Strike here, they do have Mud Shot. They're not gonna really be able to farm us down here, but they're gonna be double shielding. So we haven't used a single shield and they swap into their Metagross and this is perfect, let's go. So this is gonna be a Meteor Mash. Let's see how much this does to a Steel type. Level 49 Lucario, still doing quite a bit. So there you go, that's why it's kind of difficult to use, but very rewarding and fun when you do pull off some wins here. So taking them out, almost, not even enough. One more counter, they almost take me out. Bringing back that Garchomp, they have zero, more, zero shields. Bringing in the Mewtwo to go ahead and just get to the Psy Strike here. And then we got the Dialga in the back with two shields. It could pretty much take on anything with two shields, right? So we're perfectly fine. And it's a Dragonite. They back out. We take the win with the Lucario on the team. Let's go. All right. Let's see what we're going to see next. Does it actually really put in the work? It does. It's going to do a few things here. You just need alignment. Other than that, I mean, you know, you can't really use it as a safe swap unless you know they have two steel types. Then you'll be okay. All right. So going to go straight for the Shadow Ball up against this Dialga here. Iron Head is not going to KO. And again, we're not going to be able to get to the Psy Strike, unfortunately. That's okay. Bringing in Lucario to farm him down here. We've still got two shields, and so do they. I'm sure they're going to have a counter to fighting. Well, not quite. It's going to be a Kyogre, so we're just going to go for the Aura Sphere here. Now, close combat is going to be doing more, but having Aura Sphere is not going to be lowering your stats. I know I'm retreating right there. This is going to be for this specific situation here. They're swapping into a Metagross. We're going to go ahead and shield that up. It's going to be a Meteor Mash bait. They still have two shields here, building up quite a bit of energy. And we want them to think that this is a Draco Meteor. They're shielding it up great, getting to another Iron Head, which is not going to really do much damage, but some is better than none. And we're getting another shield out of them, which is fantastic. I think I actually shield this as well. Maybe should have held on to that for Lucario. Looks like I'm trying to swap. Here we go. And they're bringing in their Kyogre. Can we? Unfortunately not. But here's what we're going to do here. We're going to obviously let this go. We have no more shields. <laughs> we're going to farm this uh, Kyogre down here. And they've, they have got no more shields. So hopefully we're going to absorb this. It's not an Earthquake. Not an Earthquake. Meteor Mash. We're surviving and getting to the Draco Meteor. Which is not very effective. But it's still going to KO doing you know, enough to take out that Metagross there. And we're looking good. Lucario team. All right. Okay. It's doing something. It's fun. Next battle met with a Landorus. Okay, so this is going to be able to spam that Stone Edge, which is going to do a lot of damage, and then they could potentially hit a Superpower, and that should be enough to take us out at that point. So we're going to go ahead and shield this first one up. I know they're not going to bait with the Superpower, so we can go ahead and safely shield that up. And they are going to be swapping to catch a Psy Strike. What was that that they threw in the, the Alga? That's okay. Doing a decent amount of damage and bringing in our Lucario here. Don't think they're going to be able to get to a Draco Meteor at this point. So we're going to let this go. Iron Head not very effective, but still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. 
And we've got a lot of energy on this Lucario. Down a shield, unfortunately. Don't think we're going to get a shield out of them, so let's see what they bring in. It's going to be that Landorus, which is uh, going to get taken out if they don't shield this up. So what do they have in the back? A Mewtwo, which is going to be able to Psycho Cut us down, and that is going to give it a ton of energy. Still holding on to two shields, so I figured, okay, we bring in the Mewtwo. They think this is going to be a Shadow Ball. Hopefully they shield this up. Great, they're shielding it up. We needed to get that shield from them. And now we're going to let this go here. And they're actually going to be baiting me with a Psy Strike. So that's even better. Swapping into our Dialga, which is now going to be able to take over. If they go for Focus Blast and we shield it up, I think they back out here. And they're like, okay, that was wait, my one shot. I needed you to let that go. And we're taking that win. We're looking good. Okay, Lucario team, let's keep it going here. What are we going to be met with that Mewtwo? We got a mirror match going on here. Let's go. And we do have Shadow Ball. So uh, we'll be going straight for that here. We usually win a lot of the uh, CMPs because we do have it best buddy and it does have 15 attack. And we're going to shield it up. It's Psy Strike. Okay, so I do realize, again, that could be a bait, but that was a little bit quick. Actually, they could be at Shadow Ball here. We're going to let it go. It's another Psy Strike, so they probably have Focus Blast. And then that, so we're going to go for another Shadow Ball here. And they're double shielding their Mewtwo. We're going to go ahead and immediately swap into our Dialga. And... That was a little quick, so we'll let it go. It's another Psy Strike, fantastic. And they're gonna be bringing in their Zacian. Now, you could wait for them to go for a close combat so you can do more. And since they have zero shields, you're gonna be automatically taking them out since they did debuff themselves. But that's gonna require us to use a shield, so we're gonna go ahead and just go for it right, right away. Right away! Right away. And now we're gonna be able to shield this up and hopefully farm down with Mewtwo, leaving us with a whole lot of energy here. And then the Lucario in the back, but we are shieldless, so we're gonna have to see what happens here. What are they gonna throw in? Just going straight for the Shadow Ball here. And that was their own Mewtwo, okay. And what's in the back? It is a Dialga. Do you think they're gonna be able to take us out? No, they can't. They have to get to a Draco, in which we're gonna be able to get to the Aura Sphere first, and this is gonna be enough to take them out. Thank you, Lucario, at the end. Let's go, all right. Okay. So basically, it does what any other fighter can do, except a little worse. Yeah, it's steel type, but here's the thing. If it can reach like a combat power of, I don't know, 3,700, you know, something like that, it would be looking a lot better. Uh, more bulk, more HP, more attack, or just at least the all-around number just better for it, right? Then it would be doing great. But otherwise, you're better off, obviously, just using a Machamp or Conkild or, or any other fighter with Buzzwool. <laughs> Even a Heracross, unfortunately. Uh, but it does have its perks, like resisting Dragon. But again, you're not really... Re you're resisting it, but it's still doing a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, what's going on? We Psycho-cut it down that Melmetal with a Fury. And they're bringing in their Kyogre. Immediately swapping into the Alga after that. And they got their own back there. Now we do have a leg up on the Energy. So we have Draco ready to go right now. They know this. So let's get a shield. And we do. Fantastic. That's good. That's really good here. And we still have a shield left. I think we're going to let this go. We'll barely survive this Iron Head. And we'll get to ours again. This is perfect. We should be able to bring him down within farm down range with the Mewtwo. Ooh, that's kind of a little bit of farm, but we're getting there. Wow, again, another aggressive farm down with Psycho Cut on this Mewtwo. Jeez, <laughs> take the win. Let's go. Next battle, what are we going to see here? Leading with the Alga. I was getting a little sick and tired of the hard counters. And we got a good lead with the Giratina. And we're going to be seeing them swap into Togekiss. Don't... Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I got Mewtwo. Okay. We're good. We'll, we'll go ahead and just get a shield. So now we can get to two side strikes and basically take them out. And it's not going to be quite enough. So they're going to barely survive. But we'll go back in there with our Dialga and farm them down with, like, whatever HP they have left. I would assume, like, mm, like three or four, maybe two. Okay, there's the first one. And this is going to bring them down very low. But Psycho Cut, unfortunately, just doesn't do the damage. Needed one, two, and I really wanted to shield this up, but it's pointless because one more charm and we're out of here, and that's a waste of a shield. And we still got two. They get the boost. We take them out before they can even land a charm. Get out of here. And they're bringing in a Melmetal immediately, swapping and bringing in our Lucario because we do have Shadow Ball. So at least we're going to be able to do some good damage. And now that Melmetal is going to be able to spam <laughs> superpower like crazy. Now that's what we're going to have to worry about. I'm going to let this go. It is a Shadow Ball. Thank goodness I didn't want them to farm anymore. So we can cleanly take them out here because we're going to need all the health we can get. Now I screw up. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I should have went for Iron Head and then Draco Meteor. Okay. So that's what I should have done. But I'm going straight for the Draco. Now lowering our attack, doing less damage. 
but they did lower their defense as well, so we do have that going for us. So we shielded up the first one, and we got one shield left. They're hitting me with the next one. I think they'll be able to take us out with one more, and we're getting to the Iron Head. They did, they did debuff themselves two times, so this should be enough to take the win. All right, let's go. Let's see what we have next. Oh, hey, Mewtwo. Let's go. That's a good lead. Don't mind this unless it has Focus Blast. But if we call it, then we're going to be looking great. So let's go. At least it's not going to be our Lucario here. We don't have to play the gambling game with our Mewtwo. But then again, we're going to be gambling with Focus Blast. They're going side strike and retreating into their own Dialga. We're going to go straight for the Draco Meteor here and swap into Lucario. You already know what it is. Now, we could have went for Iron Head debate, but hey, why not just go for that one? What if they let it go? And we can let this go. This is going to be an Iron Head doing a lot, but the Dragon Breath is resisted, so we are going to be able to hold on for a little bit longer. Can't really farm down. So we're going to go ahead and just throw the Aura Sphere. Might as well. Now Mewtwo's going to Psycho Cut us down or bring it in the Kyogre. Okay, well, that works. We're going to go ahead and bring in our Dialga here. And I think we're going to, yeah, want to shield this up. We kind of need to maintain this right about now. They're bringing in that Mewtwo, and I think we shield this up again. Okay. And getting to the Iron Head to either get a shield or take him out here. And they're going to be letting it go. Great. And we're going to immediately swap into our Mewtwo here. We already know this Kyogre has a bit of energy holding on to it. And it's, I don't know, Mewtwo can hold on. You know, it's not the tank, this tankiest thing. It's not really squishy as well. But I say it's pretty normal. It's pretty good. Mewtwo's a pretty good Pokemon all around. All right, going for another side Strike here. This is going to wrap it up, folks. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And there you have your Shiny Lucario in Open Master League. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. Touch the deck. This is the best way. Oh.